Hey guys, so I wanted to make another hair talk video and basically for you guys that didn't see my first one, um, I answer a frequently asked question in one video. So a question that I'm always asked is why do I use protein rather than moisture in my hair routine and how do I know that my hair needs moisture rather than protein? So I guess before I even answer that question, I just wanted to make a point that in order to have healthy hair and as well as to retain length, your hair needs the right balance of protein and moisture. One is not more important than the other. What we have to do is try to figure out what our hair is lacking. Um, and how I do that is look at what I do to my hair as far as like if I flat iron it or things like that, as well as what I use in my hair. So. Um, one of the main reasons why I don't use a lot of protein is because of the obvious, which is I'm fully natural. So if you have chemicals such as relaxers or you're coloring your hair, that degrades or destroys the protein structure. So you definitely need to put protein back into your hair. But being that I don't do any of the two or I'm not transitioning, um, I, that, that's one of the reasons why I don't use protein. Another reason is because I don't use a lot of heat in my hair. I haven't straightened or flat ironed my hair since March of this year and I don't use blow dryers. If I sit under a dryer it's on, cool, on the cool setting so you know my hair isn't exposed to heat. And the reason why that's important is because if you expose your hair to heat, you can temporarily destroy or alter, not really destroy, but you can temporarily alter the protein structure. So when, if and when I do um, straighten my hair again, what I usually do when I was transitioning or relaxed is to put a protein shampoo and conditioner in my hair once every week for four weeks, just to kind of put back the protein that my hair lost from the straightening. Another reason why I don't um, use a lot of protein is because I do henna treatments. Now henna is not a protein but it acts like a henna, a, a protein treatment and basically how a protein treatment works is that uh, it'll fill in the cracks in your cuticle on your hair shaft to um, make it stronger as well as to smooth the cuticle so that it looks shinier. Um, and that's basically what a henna treatment does. The last reason why I don't use protein treatments is because um, if you're a woman of color or you have afro kinky curly textured hair and you use a lot of the African American products that are on market, it they all have a lot of protein in them. Um, and I just wanted to use the products that I use as an example. So I use my Trader Joe's Tea Tree Tingle um, conditioner for my wash and go. I use it to deep condition. Um, I use my Equal Styler Gel for my wash and go. I use it to slick back my edges when I'm doing like a little ponytail. And I also like to use my Curl Enhancing Smoothie um, to do my twist. I moisturize a lot with this. All three of these products contain protein and I'm a person that says I don't like to use protein in my hair. So as you can see, even if you're trying to avoid protein, you get a lot of it from the products that you use. And some of the names that are protein, they don't have protein in them like panthenol or cholesterol. Those are all protein. So I think if you're having problems with breakage or dryness or something like that, I would look at moisture before I look at protein, especially if you don't have a relaxer in your hair or you're not coloring your hair and you don't um, put heat on your hair often. I would definitely look at moisture before I look at protein. If you're still confused about if your hair needs moisture or protein, what you can do are certain tests that are out there. Um, you can Google them just to see what tests you would be comfortable with doing. One that is very popular is just to take a piece of shedded hair and to gently tug on the ends. And if it kind of like, if you gently tug on the ends and it stretches a little bit before it breaks, your hair is considered normal. If you tug on the ends and your hair automatically breaks before it even stretches, then your hair lacks moisture. And if you pull on the ends and it stretches and stretches before it breaks, then your hair lacks protein. And I remember when I was relaxed, my hair was stretch and stretch before it broke. And um, I didn't understand why. I wasn't doing it to test my hair. I just was looking at my strands. And my hair was stretch and stretch. And I'm like wondering why. Now I know that it's because my hair, when it was relaxed, lacked protein. What I used to see, especially when I was newly natural, um, is that as soon as I try to tug on the ends, my hair is automatically breaking. So that's 
a way to know if your hair needs moisture or protein. So I hope that this video helped you and if I don't make a video before um, Sunday, I wish all of you guys a Merry Christmas, Happy Holiday, and I'll speak to you soon. Alright, speak to you later. Bye.